JQ with Tech Creation, what's going on guys? So Thunderbolt 3 peripherals are still a bit rare to find at the time of this video, even months after the release of the 2016 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. And previously I was using the Lacey D2 Thunderbolt 2 external hard drive for my needs. But ever since I purchased the new MacBook, I've been looking to upgrade everything around it little by little to the latest Thunderbolt 3 standard. So the new MacBook Pros come with four Thunderbolt 3 ports, so why not take advantage of them? Meet the Lacey 6 Big. This is a Thunderbolt 3 RAID storage solution, and one of the things that's big about this is that price tag. So this is going to set you back a little bit over three grand, putting it up there with some of the more expensive competitors like G-RAID and Pegasus, which by the way, I had the Pegasus 3 R4 which is a Thunderbolt 3 RAID solution and I returned it because I wasn't too happy with the speeds I was getting and I picked up this one in exchange and I'll talk more about the speeds in just a moment. Now I wouldn't go jumping out the window so fast and going to buy this but then again I don't judge I mean there's people out there spending over 10 grand for a camera so I mean to each his own right. Personally though I chose to invest in the 6 big because I wanted something that I wasn't going to have to upgrade anytime soon for a very long time. I think it's a safe assumption to say that Thunderbolt 3 slash and or USB Type-C is pretty much here to stay. So Lacey is a premium brand of Seagate, which most of their products are designed by Neil Poulton, who's actually a Scottish designer and has won awards for this kind of stuff. And basically he's the reason why most of Lacey's products look the way they do, you know, like very modern and sophisticated and usually with top of the line specs too. So the six big is big in a lot of different ways. So for starters, this thing weighs a freaking ton, 24 pounds to be exact. So yeah, this is really nothing to play with. This is a full aluminum body that you're working with. So yeah, you definitely want to be careful when you're relocating it throughout your setup. It might even accidentally break through your table, who knows? No, but seriously, this is nowhere near remotely portable in any way, shape or form. So your best bet is to just set it and forget it. So the second thing that's big about this is that storage. So you get a total of six bays, each of which houses a three and a half inch, four terabyte enterprise class drive spinning at 7,200 RPMs. So you're getting some of the best drives out there in terms of reliability and performance. And they're easily hot swappable. So it's simple to remove and expand the storage if you need to, or if one of your drives happen to fail and you need to replace it, it's very simple to do. You just gently pull open that latch to release and you're good to go. You have your power switch, an AC plug, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, so it definitely supports daisy chaining. I actually have it daisy chained into the USB-C port on my monitor, so that's working great so far. And then you get a separate USB 3.1 Gen 2 port, which both utilizes the Type-C connector. Now it's important to mention that the USB 3.1 port is not a part of the daisy chain. They operate independently, so this doesn't work as a dock as I initially thought. It's an either or thing and you can only utilize one or the other. So you are going to get much slower speeds when using the USB 3.1 port. So do keep that in mind. So either you attach the 6 big to your machine via USB 3.1 if Thunderbolt 3 is unavailable on your machine or plug it into that Thunderbolt 3 port on your machine if it's available to take advantage of full connectivity and performance. And with the 6 big, I was getting some consistent, impressive read and write speeds with an upwards of 800 to 900 megabytes per second on both ends, which is remarkable for hard drive storage. Plus those speeds match that, if not better, than this stupid fast portable SSD by SanDisk. Prior to the 6 big, I was editing my 4K footage directly off this, but now I edit my 4K footage directly off the 6 big with no problems and everything seems to be working fine. And Lacey was kind enough to include all the necessary cables for you right within the box. So if you go ahead and download the Lacey RAID Manager, this is where you can tweak some of the settings within the 6 big. You can even view some of your alerts. So if say one of your drives happen to go bad, this is where you'll find it. And lastly, this is where you'll set up your RAID configuration. So you can configure the 6 big into RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, RAID 10, and RAID 50. And if you don't know what those are, I'll drop a link to a video that clearly explains what they are. So right out the box, it comes configured in RAID 5, which is the most common setup that has very little compromise to capacity capacity and speeds. Simply put in a RAID 5 configuration, if one of my drives fail, I just have to replace it with a new drive and I won't lose any of my data as the RAID array will rebuild itself automatically. Now the only caveat here is that even though this is a 24 terabyte RAID, you only actually get 20 terabytes of usable storage under a RAID 5 configuration because it's using four of those terabytes for parity to do that whole RAID 5 magic. It gets confusing, I mean you could google it if you want. But I mean, 20 terabytes of storage, that's more than good enough for most of us, I think. Plus, the more drives you have in a RAID array typically results in faster performance. And remember, I'm on a RAID 5 configuration, but if you configure this in RAID 0, 
you can get an upwards of up to 1300 megabytes per second, which is phenomenal. So yeah, I look forward to keeping this guy around for many, many years to come. So who is the six big four? Well, like I mentioned earlier, I don't expect you guys to run out and actually go buy this because number one, it's crazy expensive and number two is not exactly necessary. But if you're serious about video and looking to get into post-production and you're looking for a long-term investment, eventually you're gonna need to get a RAID storage because as you slowly find, your storage needs will require it. And I think that the Lacey 6 Big is one of the many few Thunderbolt 3 RAID solutions available that's gonna really take you a long way. Thunderbolt 3 is fairly new and I think the 6 Big makes a great addition to any desktop and a great companion to your 2016 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar as it's gonna give you that performance and those read and write speeds required to edit high-end video, perfect for any of your 4K workflows. And it's treated me just fine so far. So if you guys are curious, I'll go ahead and drop a link to this beast down below in the description, along with some other great alternatives that may fit your budget. And if you enjoyed this video, if you found it to be helpful in any way, go ahead and show me some love by hitting that like button and drop a comment down below. I wanna know what are your thoughts about this crazy heavy aluminum RAID storage solution. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on some awesome tech videos. I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys for watching and I'll see you around. Peace.